At Ooh. this point, I don't even question who gets famous on TikTok. I feel so old. <laughs> I just care if she's hot or not. I mean, stop! That, you, that, I'm like the worst women. <laughs>
think she meant any, at the end of the day, I really don't think she knew what it meant. She wasn't educated enough to not get it. Otherwise, like, I feel like she'd be smart enough to not get the tattoo. Part of her fandom has accepted these apologies, yet she still has gotten a bunch of hate and death threats from many people online. So what do you think it must be like to gain such a huge following so fast, getting all this attention and adoration, but also along with all of this hate and harassment from thousands of people online. She doesn't deserve all this hate. She's literally just doing the same thing that everyone else is doing on TikTok. A lot of Gen Zers don't look at, like they're so quick to judge people. Like we say that we're all accepting and you know, but if they see one person do something wrong, they automatically think that they're like a really bad person. And We went from saying, okay, boomer to like, pointing death threats for no reason. <laughs> yeah, it's so dumb. Just relax, okay? If yeah. nothing's that big a deal, <laughs> it's not your life. Why do adults think they're entitled to putting their comments in young people's lives? Like, get That's right. It makes that's me why, so mad, I'm sorry. That's why, like, haters don't make sense to me. It's like, it's not your freaking life. Like, why, why do you care so much? <laughs> With a big platform like that, you can't escape it. You know, you can't satisfy everybody. Finally, we've seen other people gain huge followings on TikTok overnight, like Charlie D'Amelio, Willy Wonka, Moop, Sienna May, and more. So what kind of advice or would you want to maybe see from the next person that happens to blow up on TikTok? Keep your personal life personal and keep your social life social because you don't want to get those mixed up because once you do, you will start spiraling out of control and that's what a lot of TikTokers and YouTubers, that's how they all like end up crashing and burning. Sometimes it works like David Dobrik, his social life is YouTube. Yeah. So like involving everything, it, it either, it works amazingly, or it crashes and burns. And I feel like you need to be a certain type of person. Like, David Dobrik is like a specific type of person. He's like, very charismatic. Also, don't drop out of freaking school. Like, I've seen all these creators just aren't at school. And this like, this is why we have creators that aren't educated and that they don't know what they're doing because they drop out of school as early as like not even graduating high school. So. I'm looking at you, Addison Ray. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, honestly, the first like, year of high, uh, of college, I didn't really do much. <laughs> like, I, I, if I wanted to, I could have probably made like a sh like a ton of TikToks. You're gonna have time. You're always gonna find time for, for it. Do not move to LA. <laughs> That's it, literally. <laughs> LA right? sucks, okay? It's yeah. A, it's a <laughs> that's hot, okay? <laughs> Nobody wants to be here. All right, well, I mean. You're making it so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Teens React. If you like this episode, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Any other creators we should react to next? Let us know in the comments. Bye, everybody. Hey, everyone. Lauren Producer here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. What should we react to next? Please let us know down in the comments, and maybe you'll see you in our next episode. Bye.